Hi, I'm Ted Coe, former high school and college math teacher and the director of mathematics at Achieve. I'm Maya Daugherty, a former high school English and reading teacher and the director of literacy at ELA for Achieve. I like to ask teachers about the first thing they look for when they examine instructional materials because it's important that the materials that we put in front of students 100% of the time are of high quality and worthy of students' time and attention. Well, what's quality? To help educators choose the best materials for students, Achieve has developed the equipped suite of tools for math, ELA, and science, which guides conversations about quality as alignment to the depth of the Common Core State Standards or your state's college and career ready standards, key shifts in the standards, instructional practice and assessment. This introductory video focuses on math and ELA. In math, we look for things like practices, alignment to the standards, uh, making sense and persevering, key shifts, productive struggle, support, assessments, including formative with rubrics to inform instruction, establishing proficiency, and looking at student work to establish the materials are doing what we hope they intended to do. In ELA, we analyze the materials to make sure they target specific standards, include a clear purpose for instruction, select texts that are of the appropriate complexity for the grade, require reading text closely, evidence, writing from sources. The materials pay close attention to academic vocabulary, but that's not it. The lessons and units should also reflect strong instructional practice that is responsive to varied student needs. They should be interesting provide all students with multiple opportunities to grapple with the text and be appropriately scaffold, focus not run away from the challenging sections of the text, and integrate supports for second language, special education, or students who read well above or well below the grade band. Finally, the materials should address assessment, both formative and summative. So you might be wondering, what tools do we have to help you with this? The Equip suite of tools includes the Equip rubric for lessons and units, the Task rubric for single tasks, and the Student Work Analysis tool to determine if the lessons and tasks did what we hoped they did and to spur conversations about proficiency. Each tool provides step-by-step -step support. Achieve has this suite of tools to support educators in selecting the best instructional materials for math, ELA, and the full rubric for science. We also have supports to help teachers and leaders use the materials in their own schools and districts. To help make these tools a part of the whole conversation, the tools for math and ELA have a similar design and the changes in the content. We also have supports to help teachers and leaders use the materials in their own schools and districts. For instance, we have a library of high quality instructional lessons with feedback vetted by nationally recognized peer review panels of ELA and math experts. We have training materials with PowerPoint slides, differentiated by grade band. We have annotated student work samples that show progress toward the standards. The best part is that all of these materials are available for free on our website. You might be wondering, how do I conduct a review? First, assemble a team of three to four teachers. You can also include your instructional coach. Reviews should not be done alone. Think about if you want to review a lesson or unit, a single task, or student work. If you are thinking about a lesson or unit, for more information, watch the video on Equip for Lessons and Units. If you are thinking about reviewing a single task, check out the video on the Equip task rubric. For student work, watch the video on the Student Work Analysis tool. All of this is available at www.achieve.org equip under an open license. So get your team together and meet us in the next video.